Hello crafty friends, this is Julia. Thank you so much for joining me for another card making video. Today I want to share a second super glittery winter card with you. And for this one I actually used the negative piece of the uh, giant outline Oh What Fun. And I had this left over and I thought might as well make another card. So I started out by doing another background with a salvage patina. And then I'm adding some snow flurries with the snow flurries background stencil. I ink blended the entire panel with salvaged patina and then I added some more salvaged patina into onto the stencil so that those would be a little bit more defined. And then I'm using lawn fawn stencil paste and fairy dust just so that those snow flurries are nice and glittery. And then I'm just adding the stencil paste on top of the stencil using a spatula just to spread it out evenly. And I'm not sure how often you use stencil paste, but isn't it weird that you wait for like an hour for it to dry on the background, but it takes like seconds on the stencil and you have to basically jog to the bathroom sink so you can wash it off. But you know, the things we do for glittery cards. Then I just uh, used my, Co then I'm just using my Copic markers to color in all of the images, all of the images. There's so many on this card, like it's hard to count, apparently. <laughs> I just used my favorite E50 markers for my bear, starting with E57, E53, E51, and E50. I'm also using E57, E55, and E53 for the sled. And then I'm also adding some R80 markers on the cheeks and insides of the ears. So R83 and R81 just so that they have a nice flush from sledding down an icy hill, which I think is just so cute. Then I wanted to add some stripes to the scarf of the bear, so I'm just using a Copic multi-liner. For my bunny, I'm using some warm grays, so starting with W5, W3, 1, and double zero. Just blending the colors until I'm happy with the result. I wanted to keep those images all fairly light. And for the like accessories, I'm using BG Quadruple Zero, BG11, BG13 for the teal combination. Then I'm using BV02, BV00, and BV000 for my purple combination. And I'm using R83, R81, and RV10 for the scarf. Unfortunately, I forgot to color, uh, I forgot to record the coloring of the pink and the purple combination, but I will link to the previous video I did down below and also in a card up top so you can reference that because I colored the accessories the exact same way because they match the giant outline that I ink blended with the like glittery colors. And this is actually just plain white pixie dust cardstock from Lawn Fawn that I ink blended with some uh, dye inks. You can use any type of dye ink. Oxides wouldn't work because they have pigment and they would like dull the sparkle of the uh, pixie dust. But any dye ink would work. Just make sure that the color isn't too light because it takes quite a bit of ink to get some color down. For the purple I actually used Villainous Potion and that's like a really deep purple but it turned out into like more of a pastel purple which I really liked. And then I just glued that down to the background with liquid glue. I'm using the cutouts of the A and the O just so that I have an easier time placing the inside pieces so that those are nicely aligned. Doesn't look like I'm having an easier time though, but I wanted to make sure they are <laughs> where they're supposed to be. Just making sure I have the O rotated the, the right way around. And then again, just using my quick stick tool to remove the letter. Then I added my images just with some foam squares. And now I'm adding lots and lots of mini snowflakes from that I like out with the like mini snowflake dies from Lawn Fawn. Also out of pixie dust cardstock, but I left them white for this. And I just love having all that sparkle in the card. For the frame, I use the reverse stitched scalloped frames, which I don't use nearly often enough because they're so pretty. 
and I really need to use them a lot more. I had lots of fun making a second card with just the negative piece and I just love that you can easily have two cards with just one die cut. Thank you so much for joining me today and I hope you'll have an amazing day. Bye!